episode five, about to get started. And as you saw in the last episode, I kind of cut this whole panel away, maybe two episodes ago. But we got to do some body work, uh, framework, I should say, pulling all the pieces out, get it ready. And um, like I said, I ordered the new panel, so the goal is to get this on there. Straighten it how it should be, and then basically weld it all up around the edges. And then I could kind of work the firewall back around. But it's been a long day, and um, the day job kicked my butt. My dad's been working all day at the body shop, so uh, we're not going to waste time in this episode. We're going to get right to work and um, get this panel on. So stick around and we'll get to work.
Well, oh, guys, I'm tired. Oh, I'm gonna call it a night. It's been a long day. I kind of turned the cameras off because um, I had plans tonight that uh, got canceled. Kind of put me in a bad mood, so I came to the body shop and uh, continued working. I got a lot done. Started doing a lot more body work. Um, I'm gonna add whatever the GoPro is. I had some insert shots right here so you could see closer what I was doing. But um, I've been trying to save this body line and um, just started smoothing it, you know, getting it flush with the firewall. But um, I didn't film a lot of it just because i kind of been in a uh, bummed mood. But um, I wanted to get some work done and sometimes setting up the camera is changing my shots and uh, Trying to conversate with nobody in the room, even though you guys are watching, it's kind of hard sometimes. So I just want to check in with you guys and uh, let you know what I've been up to. And uh, it's Saturday night, I'm going to be back here in the morning, because I really like to get all this primed. So I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Um, I want to fill this edge in, I want to keep working this around, I want to finish all this. I'm going to um, reshape this line. I've been doing a lot of it with metal work and hammer and dolly and grinding and smoothing and moving metal, but um, it's a slow process. And uh, like I say, I want to get a video out every week, so I'm going to try and do what I can to get this as close to ready for primer as I can. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. It's Sunday. Figured I'd do a little update and uh, fill you guys in. Been thinking about um, what I want to get done today. And obviously, as I left off, that's about where I got. But today, I thought about giving myself a nice little change of pace. And I don't remember if I documented this when I got them or not, but I bought new kick panel vents for the car. Um, about the only two I could find on the internet. And uh, of course they're all dirty. I'm gonna try and install the one that goes in this open hole today, just to give me a nice little change of pace. Getting tired of hammering and dollying and uh, sanding and all that crap. So with this, I have two holes on the firewall or these two bolts. I tried, when I was working on the firewall, I tried taking these off and I couldn't get the, the bolts to come out for nothing. And then my dad showed me yesterday, I take these two bolts off and there was another hidden bolt that I didn't see. Right here is another hidden bolt. It connects this whole thing together. And the goal is those things are so big, I gotta have clearance in here. And when I took the old one out, it was trashed. The plastic was all broken on it. So I just hit it with a hammer. So obviously you can't hit it with a hammer to get the new one in. But um, I'm gonna try and take this bolt out. Take the two bolts up here. It's gonna be hard to see, but there's two bolts up in there that come out of the firewall. And then this whole bracket should be able to move, put the new kick panel vent in, where it goes in here. And then uh, I can get back to working on the firewall. I found a way to stay busy. Listen to music in your headphones, and then YouTube can't worry about what I'm listening to.
It works. Yay. New switch. Installed. I just gotta hide the cable. Put the e-brake back in. Oh guys, like I say, out with the old. In with the new.